I've got a story to tell you guys today, but first I want to give you a few words of encouragement because everyone I've seen this week, whether in person or online, myself included, has needed a little bit of encouragement, motivation, or inspiration to keep going and working towards their goals this week. So whether you need inspiration to start a new project, encouragement to finish one you started 10 years ago, or just a little motivation to work on organizing your space and your fabric stash, you can do it if you just sit down, focus, and take it one step at a time. And I am saying this in the least motivational speakery way possible because I'm right there with you guys. Sometimes I struggle to finish projects and usually that happens when I'm on like the last step. So usually a hem or a waistband or a binding on a quilt like this one where I've been working on it for months and I get a lot of work done and then all of a sudden I lose all motivation at that very last step. And sometimes you need to take a step back, take a deep breath, get some new inspiration, and sometimes you just need a kick in the pants to keep going. And last week I got some very unexpected and inconvenient motivation to keep working on this quilt. And I actually was able to take four days to just really sit down and focus on it. And now this quilt is completely bound, it's completely sewn together, and it's finished. So if you guys are like me and you have some sort of project you've had sitting around for a few months or years that you want to finish, I'm encouraging you today, this week, to go pick it up again and finish it. But finishing this quilt was one of those when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade things. And when life gives you really sour lemons, you just have to keep pouring in sugar until it tastes like candy. And now it's story time. I'm gonna tell you how the lemon of my computer not working turned into the lemonade of finishing this quilt. So, Making YouTube videos takes up a lot of space on your computer and when the computer gets filled up I have to take all the footage and put it on an external drive. And every time we do this something goes catastrophically wrong, we'll lose a bunch of data and have to wait hours to get it back. The last time this happened, we ended up having to buy some data recovery software and it ended up working really well, so no problems there. But we've also had a little bit of an ongoing problem with our computer. A few years ago, we updated our computer. We replaced everything on it except for the hard drives that my husband had been using for years and had a lot of data on them. But the problem with not updating one part is that stuff gets old and it starts to break. And so over time, these hard drives haven't been plugging into the computer properly and we've had to hold them up with tape. And in hindsight, tape is not the appropriate way to hold in a hard drive into a computer and we should have done something about it then, but we didn't, so we ended up not being able to plug the hard drive into the inside of the computer at all. And this happened right before I was going to record a video for last week. So when we realized I wasn't going to be able to use the computer, I wasn't going to be able to edit footage, load footage on there, or publish a video for YouTube, I decided why don't I just take this time and focus on this quilt instead. And that was a really good decision. Instead of focusing my time on recording a video I wasn't going to be able to edit, I made a lot more progress focusing on the quilt that I could focus on and finish. It also ended up being a good idea because it's taken us like a week to get the computer situation figured out. And I don't know exactly what my husband did to get the computer working again, but he's an IT wizard and he did a lot of shenanigans to get everything working well. There is now an old laptop hard drive from a laptop that was like 10 years old now in the computer and the one that was in the computer we had to take out and put in the 
thing that we had to run around a bunch and find and look at a bunch of drawers and stuff to find, but eventually did find and was able to plug in the hard drive in a different way to be able to access those files. And that data recovery software that we had to buy last time when we tried to change files around ended up helping in this situation too because it was the only way we were going to access some of the files on those hard drives was by using that software to access it because it just wasn't plugging into the computer properly and accessing and allowing us to get to those files. It was busted. So this is like one of those things where a problem that we had last time and the solution for that problem ended up helping us even more with this problem now. But even though everything is running again and we can access it all, we're still having a problem of not having enough space on any of the hard drives and with one of them that we really can't use anymore after this. So we've been moving data around and compressing files and that is taking a lot of time. One of them took 13 hours, another took 9 hours, I think it took 5 hours last night or this morning doing something and it's just been constant computer on running all day and night trying to access these files and move them around. So the plan today, the day I'm filming this video, Friday afternoon, the plan this morning was to pick out a new external hard drive to move all of these files to so that we won't have any problems storing data. But this morning started off with me exploding a whole unopened tub of strawberry yogurt all over the floor, all over the refrigerator, and that was, that was a pain. That's how today started out. So not so good. But we were able to look online and find a hard drive in the area we could go purchase and pick up, and we now have that. We now have it plugged into the computer, and we can move all of our files over and everything's working properly again. And while we're on the topic of motivation and the encouragement to keep going, this is the kind of issue that normally would just make me quit. I wouldn't know what to do in this scenario and I would just probably give up. I've had a huge learning curve with all this technology for making these YouTube videos and it's taken a lot for me to learn and figure out and keep working with but all of these computer issues that we've been having that have been holding me back are really something that I probably wouldn't get past without my husband who has been very wonderful and supportive in helping me with this channel and helping me with the computer to get everything working to help me with what I want to do. And on top of that, my husband is the one who suggested I make this channel in the first place and encouraged me to start making videos. So he deserves a big round of applause and lots of hugs and thanks for helping encourage me to keep going. So I am going to make more YouTube videos. I'm going to make more sewing videos and I am going to finish this quilt video, but I don't know how long that one's going to take because I do still have some more footage to record with it and I have a lot of computer stuff to still deal with and that video is going to take a long time to edit because I've been working on this thing since like January and February. It's been a long time so there's a lot of footage to edit. And if you want to watch that quilt video when it comes out, make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss that notification. Please leave a like on this video if you haven't already, and let me know down in the comments below if there's anything you've been struggling with motivation-wise to complete, and if you have any other words of encouragement for other people that are struggling. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. I hope I will be able to see you guys next week. I'm going to get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that will burn their house down <laughs> with lemons. <laughs>